it's AJ here and today we're going to be checking out two new watches the SE and the Apple Watch Nike Edition 4. So here we are, so we have the Apple Watch 4 Nike Edition which is in the boring space grey which is mine um, and then we have my wife's SE which is the 2020 Apple Watch in what they call this some gold aluminium or pink aluminium I think that's what they call it on their site but there we are so this is a 40 and this is a 44 um, I prefer to get the Nike editions because they have obviously their Nike and you get more um, watch faces. Now both of them as I said come in 40 and 44 mil in the size. Um, they have a 30% larger display. Uh, certainly with the SE you get a similar um, screen size like as the Apple Watch 6s with the Ion X glass displays. Uh, with, the, with the four as well, you get the aluminium cases, sapphire crystal display, and stainless steel. And that's on the cases there. So, this is a bit strong, same as this. Uh, they've both got GPS, you can get cellular modes. But I'm not really interested in the cellular modes because why pay extra when you don't need it? You've got a watch for that. Uh, and then you've got the Retina LTPO. OLED display, a uh, thousand nits, so they're both pretty bright, very bright indeed, which is pretty much essential. Uh, the prices for these two, when you start, I've got this one at 269, this one obviously has gone down quite a bit now, um, so you can get these for a hundred odd, uh, a lot cheaper now, which is still good. Um, but the Apple Watch 5 is a little bit better. And then we have as well, so now the difference is here is with processors and the chipset. So with this one, you've got an S4 SIP with a 64-bit dual-core processor with a W3 wireless chip, which is more or less the same, but this one has the 5, the SIP 5. So a little bit quicker. Digital crown feedback, they both have haptic feedbacks. Optical heart sensors, they both have as well, which is a very essential. That's why they sell a lot of these watches nowadays, more than all the others out there on the market. Uh, electrical heart sensors, second generation optical with the four. And with the other one is optical heart sensor with the SE. So perhaps it's more of an upgrade version with the six as well. They both have high and low heart rate notifications. Mine seems to drop at about four or five o'clock in the morning. Uh, heart rhythm notification and ECG app, which they both have as well. You also get the uh, international emergency calling, emergency SOS and full detection, which is crucial. And both of them are water resistant up to 50 meters, which is 164 feet, I do believe, which is pretty deep. Um, and you probably could hold this in water for maybe up to 30 minutes. Um, I mean, why would you? You can't do anything like snorkeling or any sort of high impact water sports with these. You can wear them in the bath apparently, and as long as your shower is not too powerful. You can use these as well. Um, and then you also have the 4G LTE and UMTS uh, for your networks, Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth 5, which is good because Bluetooth 5 holds a lot more information, hell of a lot more information actually. Um, that's the modern thing. Uh, you've got your GPS with a GNS S compass and always on altimeter on this one. Um, where on this one it's not so much as biometric altimeter. 
So a little bit of a difference there. I haven't got a clue what that means, but there we are. A uh, 50% louder speaker on both of them as well. Um, with the four, you only get 16 gigabyte capacity. With the SE, you get 32. 32 should be always and forever, the minimum nowadays. Um, the newer watches, I think it's from the Apple Watch 5, 6 and SE, are 100% recycled aluminum or aluminium here in the UK and the rest of the world. And they've got a bit of a rating of about an IPX7 when you're in water. So I should have said that a little bit earlier. Um, and that's pretty much the differences and similarities of these two. Um, obviously, you can see the sizes are different and the colour of these two as well. But other than that, they don't take long to charge. The battery life is 18 plus hours. Um, I've not really had any troubles and I've used the beta version on these um, for charging and you know using your general daily life. We do use the sleep app on these two, which you can find down here. So if you press that, it will put the phone into sleep mode, which I've shown you one of my previous videos. Boom, boom. And then you have sleep mode with your alarms or no alarms to activate this or activate it and lock it go back down and turn off we don't want that now um, so that's good we also got another couple of features here not on this one but on this one uh, for schools so if you buy your kid an apple watch they can use that for silence you got your hearing, so you, you put your AirPods into a different mode. Obviously your water resistance, so you would lock that. Flush out the water, it makes a little noise, which is quite good. Obviously if you're lost and found, your battery percentage, go in there, you can see my AirPod Pros, 88%. You've got your theatre. So again, a lot of these are also silent. Some of them they put in silence and then keep the watch dimmer or brighter, depending what you're doing. You've also got your walkie talkie app there as well. Your torch, airport mode, and obviously this one here where you can choose what you, how you want to listen to your music. So they both have those features. It's no different really. So you've got your dials. Like I said before, this doesn't have any Nike ones because this is the standard Apple Watch SE. You can get a Nike edition, um, which is pretty good. Uh, but again, you know the SE, the differences are between these two, apart from the numbers and the age, is that this one's a little bit, um, it's not as powerful, the Apple Watch 6 is, but the screen is still size wise the viewing size is supposed to be a bit bigger if if we had these two the same size then i could compare that a bit easier and show you um, but the apple watch 6 is good but the apple watch 7 i hear would be a lot better design wise as well they might be going for the sharper edges like on the apple watch 12s and obviously the 4 and the 5s had that as well which i really do prefer and like a lot and hopefully they will do these in the black like they did with the um, expensive Apple Watch 6s and 5s and get rid of the space grey because as you know I don't really like it much um, but there are two videos that I will put in the descriptions somewhere here there everywhere that will have the unboxing of these two so the Nike edition and the Apple Watch SE so you can go and watch them if you want to um, we've got the straps from eBay, not sure where, but maybe I'll put a link in the description for those as well. And I think that's about it. There's not really a lot of interest. Let's see if we can find a different face. Any new ones to talk about? Don't think there is. They're all pretty cool what they have on here. Is standard 
um, which is very good. Like I say, these ones have actually outsold the other ones that are out there on the market. So it shows you that Apple are heading in the right direction. You've got your Unity here. Um, Started with Black Lives Matter. Um, as you can see, I haven't got that one. And uh, but yeah, that's all cool. So that's the two watches. Prices are different. I'll put some more information in the description below for both watches. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you real soon. See ya. Bye bye.